Josh, didn't you just go to a college football game? Oh, yes, sir. I did. Colorado versus Colorado State, my boy. Incredible game. Game of the century. Tell me that you use... Oh, SeatGeek? Come on, my boy. Of course I did. Guys, today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek. You know that SeatGeek is number one, just <sighs> like uh, 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 us. Yeah, I mean, you need to have the number one podcast with the number one ticketing app in the game. You just got your tickets to go see... Um, Colorado State? Colorado versus Colorado State. But I'm tell you this, bro. I literally use SeatGeek for everything. I, I honestly genuinely love them as a sponsor mm -hmm. because I love their app. It's so user-friendly. There's a, any concert that I'm looking for, any sporting event that I'm looking for, I know SeatGeek's got me covered. Guys, there's 70,000 live events every single day on SeatGeek. Wow. I'm talking my favorite, Who? Dodger games. Ooh. They also, I just saw that they have tickets for Peso Pluma, oh, Maluma. Hey, bro, here's the thing why I love Sea Geek, and you know why, you know? Why because I like it when things are simple, all right? Green dot means good, prices are good. Red dot means go to the green dot. <laughs> yeah. Sea Geek is so easy to use, especially like myself. I look at the green dots and it'll yeah. show me exactly where I'm gonna be seated. And things like that, Sebas likes. Mm -hmm. So download Sea Geek for your next ticketing adventure. Yep, and make sure you use the code La Platica for twenty dollars off your first ticket purchase. Come on, we're here to hook y'all up. This ain't no game. This ain't no game, hey, baby. But you can catch a game on Seat Geek. Geek. Can you please take a seat? Yes. I'm trying to run a podcast here, man. You ever heard of us? Ever. LP. Ever. La Platica, number one Latino podcast in the world according to El Google. Is that what they said? Can't trust Google sometimes on my boy. Hashtag Mondays don't suck. How do you like that? Hey, we back at it. I felt like we just saw you guys. And hey, we back, baby. Hey, we, we literally, well, did we upload on Thursday? Yeah. It was a Thursday. It and now it's Monday. And it don't suck. And it don't suck. And it finally doesn't suck. Man. Are you going to upload at 4 a.m. again this time? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's done before 4 a.m., so might as well. Hey, ever, anybody ever tell you brazy? Bro, should I just upload, like, like say, like, once the clock strikes 1201 hit that hit that live button and then your watches and your phone say thursday uh, monday monday that's how backtrack we are that's how and your phone are. says monday why not have it there i mean mondays don't suck right not no mowers and we're not gonna make it keep sucking have you ever mowed a lawn yeah no. What kind of question is that? Yes, no. I have. No. I even hit the ones with the the little foo -foo 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 with the propeller where you, you see, hit the edge. That's how I know you've never done it. I'm talking about the one with the edge, like yeah. you don't even know what it's called. Yeah, it's called the the weed whacker. There you go. Come on, my boy. I don't ever play my gardening skills like that ever again. I, I have a question for you. How much do you think about the Roman Empire? Absolutely zero time. <laughs> have you seen that thing on yeah, TikTok? Yeah, I think it's very interesting. It's, yeah, me too. I was like, are we supposed to? Have I thought about the Roman Empire? Some guy tried to like justify it. Saying what? And he kind of um, my shirt's a little like tight, so I feel like I'm, I might feel a little like you know movie. Like, I don't. Movie, I don't. Movement. We're not complaining, bro. I'm complaining. You look good right now. Uh -huh. You look athletic. Do I look like a like a Roman uh, soldier? You look like you like you're like a fitness trainer right now. Drop down, give me twenty, young man. Is that how you would talk? Hell yeah. What was I saying right now? Uh, about the Roman Empire. Yeah, I don't. Some guy trying to justify <laughs> and say like, well really listen to this because blah, blah blah he like sit something and i'm like no like no, no that you might like there are t uh, types of guys out there with these certain personalities yeah that maybe it's a concern to them about the roman empire maybe they compare it to life society now, now yeah. yeah so i get all that but that is probably like a two percent of males what's something that you do think about a lot i might I, yo i might look like a wimp saying that but i'm just i i'm just saying man you look like a little pansy ass bitch me too, though, because I don't really think I don't think about the Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah. Um, Give me something that you do think about a lot, though, that maybe people wouldn't know. Because I like or, or maybe like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know what's something I think about a lot? What? Pizza. I think about pizza almost Ooh, every day. I love pizza, bro. Because pizza is endless. I you know what I mean? Pizza. It's limitless. You can do anything you want to it. Prepare it in any way. <laughs> It's the most fascinating food in the world to me. Can I tell you something? And this is going to piss off a lot of people. This is a hot take? I'd rather have American pizza than pizza from, from Italy. Italy. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think, I, I'm not mad at that. I get that. And I don't know why. And don't get me wrong. I've I've been to Italy. Oh, you've been to Italy. <laughs> Fucking pop this asshole. I said that on purpose. <laughs> I know, I know. 
I've been there and it's delicious. <laughs> it's magically delicious. It's good. It's, it's good. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. But Domino's. But Domino's. <laughs> Shit, my boy. But Pizza Hut. My God. But Little Caesars. Papa John's. Even even like just like, even like pizza chains that are like that like are very New York style yeah. or or uh you know Italian pizza, blah yeah. blah blah, you know? Yeah. I still prefer that made here. I agree. Then the pizza in I've, Sicily. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. Is it because we have ranch? <laughs> That's probably exactly why. Bro, they don't have ranch. They don't have like any kind of like hot sauces yeah. that they could add to it. Like for me, I actually really enjoy pizza with Tabasco. Me too. That's amazing. Me too. I can't get that in Italy. So my combo is a um, a, a bucket of ranch, a little bucket. Yeah. And then um, I'll do like a hot sauce. Yeah. No, normally a buffalo might, sauce. Yeah, a buffalo sauce. Mix that hoe. Or like if I'm in like like if I'm at my house, like I normally do a one. Uh, the brand is called Yucateco. Ooh, it's, I know that it's it's, it's top crazy tier. Good. It's crazy good. Yucateco is top tier. You go green. I go green, red, dark red. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, even yeah. a black one. Because I feel like every time I go to your house, there's always a green one. Oh yeah, it's green. Your the favorite? jalapeno one. Yeah, that was no, hard. the red one is in my oh, favorite. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Um, Yucateco is just top tier. <laughs> Yucateco, Yucateco. Is God tier? Is God tier. Yeah. Yucateco is top tier hot sauce. What else do you put that on? And the macros are, are good. Most hot sauce macros are real good. Yeah, but some have uh, ingredients like red 40 and they might be higher on, or like a couple or, you know, sugar or whatever. Really? Yeah. Like, like sriracha? I know sriracha has sugar. No, sriracha, I don't think has red 40. I might be... No, mis- sugar. It, it uses sugar. You, you sure? Yeah, look it up. Because sriracha's macros are really good. It has sugar in it. The best macro hot sauce yeah. ever and still reigns best macros for a hot sauce Tabatio? ever? Tabatio? No. You just said it's Tabasco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zero. Zero all around. If you want... If you need some spice in your life, and a lot of people don't like Tabasco because it's, it's too vinegary. It's vinegary. Yeah. Tabasco gets a lot of hate, bro. I know. Tabasco gets a lot of hate. I know. I used to be that guy. I don't want Tabasco because it's so like Tabasco. American. Yeah. But I've learned to love Tabasco. I love Tabasco. And Tabasco not just has the OG flavor. They yeah. have chipotle, yeah. salsa verde, yeah. and a bunch of other ones. There's a shitload. There's just certain foods that compliment tabasco so well or the other way around tabasco compliments food so well yeah you know what i mean i just think certain hot sauces just go better with certain foods yeah you know what i mean there's a tabasco it's one of my favorites my favorite used to be chipotle but now there's a tabasco if you go to like pavilions or something yeah um they sell tabasco and the flavor is cayenne can, oh. you, can you say that with me at the same time really quick uh three two <laughs> one cayenne, cayenne. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's really <laughs> I'm nice. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I'm just an OG Tabasco kind of dude. Oh yeah, dude, me too. Hey, know? bro, let me tell you something. In Mexican mm. culture, bomb micheladas. Yeah, half, half Tabasco. Tabasco. Yeah. yeah. It, damn, me, you even said it a little differently. Tabasco. Damn, bro. Let me tell you something else. Um, top tier shrimp cocktails. Yeah. And top tier, top tier fresh oysters. My top tier. Tabasco. There you go. There you go. I just did four TikTok clips right now. <laughs> He's not TikTok. He's a TikTok god. I'm a TikToker. <laughs> Come on, bro. Get off me. <laughs> I only speak in TikTok. Get off me, bro. <laughs> no, I really like Tabasco, bro. Like, like, yeah. Like, if you like, it's, I have, and I learned to love Tabasco because when you know I'm on like a calorie deficit mm. or I'm trying to like cut, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tabasco yeah. is just- Whoa. 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 You put, put that on TikTok, my boy. The Whoa. double hand gestures. The double, the double jerk. No, hey, I man. did that. You did that live. No. Oh, <laughs> cotton 4K, my boy. Cotton 4K. <laughs> we got a double jerker over here. Double jerker sea bass. I did that, bro. Hey, perfect form too. Bro, I'm like if I've done it before. Surprised you don't got a cramp, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I did that. Uh, yeah. Bro, let's not ever talk about that ever again, please. I wouldn't even be mad if you cut that out of the potty. Wow, you bro, we shouldn't. eight minutes in, bro, and I did that. And you want some double hand gesture jerk jiggle. I blame Tabasco. <laughs> no, but say it with me, though. Three, two, one. Cayenne. <laughs> 
<laughs> I forgot the word. I was like, what's the word we're saying again? Uh, no, but for me, for, I love Cayenne. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Yeah. Top top tier mm -hmm. hot sauce mm -hmm. that I take everywhere when I travel. Yeah. Tabasco. No. Yucateco. Oh, okay. Because you feel like that Tabat that sauce goes with more all around there's more range or oh, you don't it's yes. not even about the range is it's, it it's range about thing? the range is it a range it's thing? about the range but most importantly just flavor wise yeah it's amazing yeah it's a hot sauce it's not like a molcajete it's not yeah. like a salsa tatemala nothing like that yeah straight hot sauce amazing burn mm, and amazing it's a good flavor. kind of burn it's the it's the bomb so i, I like get a, a bucket burn. of ranch yeah. and i do the like a red yucateco or a green one whatever is okay. available okay whatever is at my uh what do the, uh, Americans say it as my disposal? Whoa. At my disposal? You're on a big word grind today, my boy. I'm just trying to be like you, G. I just wish I had more quotes. <laughs> you, you, you can have the big words. Let me handle the quotes, my I got boy. you, my Let boy. me handle the quotes. So yeah, boy. just do that. And yeah. then like I, I mix it with my finger. Whoa. Do the little lick. You got to do the lick. Yeah, because you got to know if the hot sauce to ranch ratio. The ratio. Yeah, what do Americans say? Ratio? They say ratio. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you don't really, you know, yeah. I got to know. So, but it's normally over here. If the balance isn't right, then we wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, I lick my finger and I do that, right? Yeah, I mean, who, I mean, you got to be like, you got to be, you got to be a serial killer to yeah. wipe, wipe that off. Not only napkins, that, you're not going you know to like I mean? waste a fork and then having to wash it after just to mix up the ranch. You could take Campbell. Exactly. No. Uh, are you the kind where you put the peanut butter in, you know, you get your peanut butter jelly, you duck the, the knife in to get the spread in and the jelly. I, I try to get a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Knife. Do you clean it like wash or do you give it a nice little, ah, ah. <laughs> what do you do? Brother. Tell me. I, I lick the thing. Pause. All right. I lick it. All right. I mean, it's a technically it's a suck because <laughs> it's like, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pause again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You went a little deep with that one too, by the way. It was a pretty long, long uh, knife. Bro. Y'all know about all that. Look like a normal, look like a normal knife to me. You just wanted to take it there. Like, That's no. a standard knife, my no, boy. Going bro, there. don't even do that right <laughs> now. Please don't. <laughs> Please. From end to tip. You're upsetting me. <laughs> That's you, bro. Just call it like I see it. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, and then just dip the pizza. But, yeah. yeah, what I'm saying is, like, I, I prefer pizza out here. What's your favorite, favorite pizza? Like Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yeah. I love pizza Oh, Hut. no, my bad. I'm so sorry I said that. I'm. I, please take that back. I don't mean that at all. I don't care that that's your favorite pizza because that's not mine. Domino's is mine. Domino's is yours. Yes. Okay, I love Domino's. Yes, yes. I'm a Domino's over Pizza Hut all day, every day. Got it. Domino's to me is top tier. Got it. Over over Pizza Hut. Yeah. Over Papa John's. Over Little Caesars, obviously. Any of those chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're uh, a Pizza Hut guy. No, 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 no. Actually, no. You change your mind? Um, I'm gonna give you three because I. I no, you get one. I no, you got one. Why do you get three? It's the one. There's one. There's one god tier. Because I came up with the question. All right. Well, listen, man. <laughs> I don't like this stupid question anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's because I want to say three because the, my favorite, I don't think it's like where some people might live. You know what I mean? So my what favorite. Is CC's Pizza? My favorite pizza. You better not say CC's. From a, it's from a branch called Marco's. Bro, you we're talking about like 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 chains, bro. They, there's a lot of Marco chains. How many? Many. How many? <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out, but All right. many. All right. Okay. On the break, I'll search how many chains. And if there's more than five, cool. If there's more than 10. Across chains. the US? Yeah, sure. No. Okay, well, I'm just telling you. There's gotta be more than, there's gotta be at least like 50, bro. My favorite pizza is from Marco's. I don't know what they, I, have you had it? I don't think so. I will, I will treat you to a, a pizza, whatever pizza you want from Marco's. On me, my treat. I might've had one. I might've had it okay, once actually. Okay, it's the best, bro. My cousins from Mex from Guadalajara, they yeah. rave about Marco's pizzas. They still to this day have not tried a pizza as good as Marco's pizza. My mouth is getting watery by Me the way. Me too. Cause I love pizza that much. Me too. Um, and then, this, do you get Supreme? And then I love, yeah. Yeah, like the deluxe, Supreme yeah, deluxe, yeah. yeah. And then I love Domino's. Okay. And I love Papa John's. Papa John's hits, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. But oh my God, and I forgot about one more pizza. The pizza. 
and they don't make it anymore and i don't know why and everybody probably back at home already knows what i'm about to say they don't make it anymore after covid they like decided to stop i don't know why they would do that when honestly this is why people love you guys because you guys have this pizza and it was like a supreme combo pizza and the people who sold this single slice you can get the whole pie or whatever was costco Wait, you, they don't sell the whole no, pie? No, they sell pizza like that. They don't sell Individual the Supreme. Slices. No, they don't sell oh. the Supreme one. It's just pepperoni. You're lying. Or cheese. You're lying. They, bro, you've had that pizza, bro, didn't right? didn't we have it when that we went to the cabin? That pizza is insane. We had Supreme. No, that was, that was pre-COVID. We didn't. We didn't. I promise you. They haven't had it in a while. I promise you. Wow. That pizza, that combo deluxe pizza That's God is insane. That's God tier. That's God tier pizza. And they have ranch. That pizza right there from Costco, I didn't know that they canceled the Supreme. Hey. That's bullshit. I, we need to write a petition. Bro, it's insane. I don't, what does COVID have to do with just sprinkling mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, sausage? Pause again. Bro, you good? Let me see you suck the knife again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I don't understand why they would do that. Yeah. So you think about pizza just as much as I do. Of so course. <laughs> of course. Come on. Would you consider yourself a, a pizza connoisseur? I would say pizza, yes. I would say pizza is one of my top three favorite dishes. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, yeah. Uh, to me, it's it's everything, you know? it that You just said it. It's, it's everything. everything. I could eat it every day. Veggies. Um, cheese, protein. Carbs. Cheese. Tomato sauce. Yeah. Carbs. Bread. Garlic salt, salt, salsa, yeah. anything you want, it's Here, all there. And then just when you think it's perfect, you can enhance it yeah. even more yeah. with ranch, oh. with garlic butter, oh. with Tabasco, oh. with whatever your heart desires. Anything. Anything. Papa John's has that garlic butter that they comes on the side. They got the pepperoni with the little, little one pepperoni. Pepper okay. The little one Papa pepper John's knows what he's doing, bro. The little pepper Come on, it's the Papa. That garlic butter sauce, I never thought I would be a fan of it. Like, from when I, I remember when I first, I was like, that's kind yeah. of interesting. Like, it's, wow, insanely it's insanely good. insanely good. As you get older, you start to like butter more, right? I love Isn't butter. Isn't that weird? I love butter. I used to not like butter that much. I want it all over my buttery body. Bro. Butter is amazing. And the more butter, the better. The more butter, the better. Bro, it's insane. It, no, but I really think that's a, like a thing. Like when I was older, yeah, like can we butter make is cool. That says that the more butter, the better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it means so many things. <laughs> the more butter, the better. <laughs> like now I, I love butter. I love yeah. butter. Butter is be beautiful. That's I was, why. I was going to say butterful. <laughs> that's why butter. the best ranch in the world has yeah. butter in the. Buttermilk ranch. Buttermilk ranch. Buttermilk ranch. I love that it. is the best. Does ranch. it have butter in it, or is it just in the? Name? I'm assuming there's some sort of butter in there. There might be. They definitely. It's butter. Buttermilk ranch. Yeah. Is they probably take the butter from the milk and then mm -hmm. they mix it with ranch and then they came up with the word buttermilk, buttermilk. ranch. Well, buttermilk ranch is just a phenomenal name. Buttermilk ranch. Ooh. I need a break. I need some pizza. <laughs> I literally just feel like we just talked insanely fast for the past 10 minutes, bro. Hey, man, that's what we do. We're talkers. It was literally nonstop, and that was not planned. No. It's just... Don't you think sometimes it's funny that me and you just connect so flowy? And it, it, there's... there's we're like, we're like magnets who actually touch. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. It's opposites... Opposites... Opposites? <laughs> opposites, o opposites attract. attract. But like the s different signs don't, right? They like have a negative impact. Yeah. Like they don't connect. Yeah. So we're opposite. So we, so we attract. Or does that not apply to this whole scenario? No, they, but we're. I don't think we're opposite. Yeah, because you. Well, you said we're magnets. Yeah, but you'd have to think too far into the joke. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So how'd your little poll go when you told people that if it's rock, paper, scissors or rock, paper, scissors, shoot? It's an undivided yeah. answer, honestly. Yeah. You know what I no, mean? We, nobody says shoot. Okay, that's fair. But the rules are the rules. And I'm talking about the rules. That guy that you posted? Harvard. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yes. It's not rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh-huh. I agree if it's rock, paper, scissors boom right and then you shoot or then you like shoot your shot yeah but you don't say shoot you know how i say it like with me and my friends rock paper and then i'll 
Y'all don't even say scissors. Here's the thing. No, it's no, about you to don't. Be, it's no. about to be whatever it's about to be. No, no, you don't do that. Which is no, you, you being don't. me. I, I've played multiple games of rock, paper, scissors with you and your friends, and that's not how it goes. How it goes is they go, all right, how do you do it? Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, yeah, shoot. You always discuss it. Because there's people the in the group, like yourself, who want to challenge another person on how to play rock, paper, scissors. Here's the thing, bro. You're wrong. Okay? Here's the thing. Like you. <laughs> I personally like to go rock, paper, and then I'm going to give you whatever hand you are dealt with. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna and hit then you it. will lose. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, I'm a rock, paper, shoot kind of guy. Got it. All right? And I respect it. Rock, paper, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. You know? State it. State it. Bro, how happy are you that Mondays don't suck now? Listen, man, I was starting and to get I, a little worried. I almost feel like we caught up, right? I was starting to get a little worried. I'm glad we caught up. Well, uh, you're always out and about. Likewise. No, likewise. Como que no, likewise. You're always out and about. You're out and about. Enjoying your life. What did you just tell me right now? You're going somewhere else? Mm -hmm. You going there too. Just right after me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Don't even play with me going right here, now. Going here, there. Don't even play with me right now, You're bro. saying that you're thinking about moving to Colorado? I mean, what's up with this? Why not? You know? The Rockies. The Rockies. You know, the Rock's not going to be at all the games. You know that, right? He might be. I'll take the chance. <laughs> it's worth the move listen dude i'll never leave california ever in my life i'll never leave la ever you're ever you're so la for saying that i'll never leave la man i love la born and raised what's la made me what's la made me you know i'll never leave bro i love this place this place has genuine is cerritos heart. considered west la uh yeah yeah is it yeah yeah well more like uh south la so is norwalk south la yeah kind of West LA will probably be more like Inglewood, right? I don't know. Yeah, I would say so. I w yeah, even Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Santa Monica. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Venice. Is that Ven all yeah, West yeah, LA? Yeah, that's all West LA, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Because it's like Central LA, right? Would be more like, what? Uh, uh, High, not Highland Park, uh, HP. Huntington uh, Park. Huntington Park. Yeah. Like that area? I don't know. I would like to discover. More of LA? What? Yeah. You haven't really been around LA a lot? What are you talking about? Have you been around LA a lot? <laughs> what would you say? You, what do you want to discover? <laughs> I want to discover what's west, what's south, what's east. Oh, I've, we, I've been to every city in Los Angeles. Yeah, I think I have too. In Inland Empire? San Diego? I, that's, that's not LA though. It's not? Yeah. Don't ever say that again. Watch yourself. Bro, I'm 951 until I die. You're an IE boy? I would like to consider myself raised in IE as well. You're disgusting. Remember, from when I was an infant, baby. Yeah. Learning to walk. Yeah. Till about ninth grade. Yeah. Well, 10th grade, technically, because I finished ninth grade. I don't think you in did. In Norwalk. Shout out Norwalk Lancers. <laughs> and then from ninth grade, well, 10th grade, I moved to the Inland Empire. So you're an IE, bro. I could tell. That makes so much sense. I would say I'm half i'm half los angeles and half well LA. actually now los angeles is taking over because now i've lived in la yeah after the inland empire for over six years i believe yeah you know what I, I, so now what am i huh you're just you're a happy you're happy you're 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 a I mean, half, I'm, I'm half an angelino i would say i'm three-fourths la and then no no i would say i'm half inland empire and half la you know why because inland empire is sick okay listen listen yeah you, know, you don't know an inland empire Fool, if the inland empire people from the ie don't want to be from the ie all right let me tell you something people from riverside and people from cerritos shuffle battle you'll lose i can't believe you just said that to me right now shuffle battle lose hell no bro. Ah, come on no there's no way bro there's no way riverside against cerritos shuffle battle yeah cerritos will handle that all day we have dancers for days you guys you, you guys are wannabes you guys come to cerritos to take dance lessons and then go back to the ie shuffle dance um dutch house you will lose listen man i'm gonna i'm gonna stop you right there and don't get me wrong i love it no you don't i live here. no you don't you just you okay but you don't you know what i love now you, you're repping ie way too hard right now you know way what I, too hard you know what i love what the San Fernando Valley.
Okay, now we're talking. Right. Now you, now you back I to the I love the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> Not much. Hey, listen, listen, let me just say this real quick. I actually have love for the IE. I actually genuinely, genuinely love the IE. Yeah. Because I love, like, uh, I love Temecula, actually. And Temecula's yeah. considered IE. Uh, um, it's it's considered. Yeah, one of my good But friends, I wouldn't say that's, like, the heart of the IE because it's not. Like Riverside and stuff like that? Riverside, I think, is the metal, metal IE. And then there's, around Riverside, is, like, Fontana... Um, Rancho Cucamonga. I like Rancho. Uh, Upland, Upland. Is that considered? Upland, I-, I think it's considered. I. Oh, okay, see, I fuck with that. I like those areas. Marietta, Temecula, Manifee. That's where I was like, you know. Now we're going downhill. We're going, we're going a little south. But if we come back up north, mm-hmm. Moreno Valley, Moreno mm-hmm. Valley, mm-hmm. bro, don't talk to me right now. Mm-hmm. Lake Elsinore. You guys are so far. Lake Elsinore is in. Bro, the, is in the just thinking about it, I'm like, that's so far. It is very far. That's far, bro. No. Ilan, um, Menifee, Marietta, Temecula, far. Corona, um, Lake, Lake Elsinore. Elsinore. Far. Far. Riverside, a little closer. Yeah. 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 Look, bro, Riverside's hey, dope. Hey, shout out to my IE people. I, I genuinely, I like the IE. I don't you just really spend a lot of time. It. I'm just giving you shit, man. <laughs> I like the IE. It's cool. Take me to Rancho. I like, what's that plaza on Rancho? The Victoria uh, Gardens? Victoria Gardens? Victoria Gardens cracks. I love Victoria Gardens. It's beautiful. Bro. 2009 to 2012 that was a spot i was at victoria gardens bro all day every day outdoor mall it's cracking bro and it was so nice i thought honestly i thought it was luxury when i was ontario mills and then victoria Gardens. yeah but it's like nice it's bougie it it kind of reminds me of like beverly hills like every time i would go there i was like yo this Mm -hmm. is like really nice Mm -hmm. i haven't been there in years so i don't even know how it looks just as nice just as nice i remember me uh karen and myself we'd go to the gayu gayu kaku the Japanese Korean barbecue. Oh, okay. Gayu Kaku, is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah. Ga- Giyu Kaku. It's Giyu Kaku. Giyu Kaku, yeah. yeah. Happy hour, $5 pitchers. Damn, go crazy. Olvídate. <sighs> Dangerous. Let's go on a quick break, yeah? Oh, by the way, by the way. You didn't even do our intro. By the way, welcome to La Platica. My Jesus. name is Sebastian. This is the Josh Leva, the one and only. We are your hosts of La Platiquita. Yes, there um, we are. You can also hear us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And mm-hmm. uh, we are the number one Latino podcast in the world, but we've never said that. I've never heard you say that. I think Google said it. It might have slipped out of my mouth once or twice on accident, but I never actually meant what I said. I must have just been quoting Google. I must have just been quoting Google. Your arms look huge, bro. I, I must have just been quoting Google <laughs> <laughs> for the camera. I must have just been quoting Google. We love the fact that you guys love last video. That was all Josh too. So like round of applause for Josh. Uh, you killed it, bro. That was so much fun. I, fun. I love it when I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Kind of like the second part of this video because yeah, you, you are going to set something up again. We're going to put a camera up. Yeah. Oh, we're going to put a visual up. But yeah. you guys obviously are going to be able to listen because I got you right here. Ew, ew. Um, so let's go on a quick break let's right now. Yeah. Run Maybe it. go number one, Tinkle Winkle. Let's do it. Name all four Teletubbies right now. Huh? Teletubbies? Uh, Twinkie. Uh, the purple one. <laughs> that's too, that's, that's Tinky Winky. Uh, Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. I don't know, bro. Tinky Winky. Dipsy. La La. la po. po. Oh. What's the sun's name? The sun. Mm. Bro, I remember I was like a baby. I was like this. You, you watch Teletubbies? <laughs> bro, are you kidding me? I never watched Teletubbies, bro. Bro, I'm about to get Teletubbies tatted on me, bro. Like that. Like that, bro. And then they see the little, they have little TVs right here. And then like you go inside the TV. Who are you right now? I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> that's not 90s, bro. That's 90s, early. That's, 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 that's 2000s. I know, but I'm 90s kid. So when I was at a certain age. You were 11, 12 years old watching Teletubbies? Are you guys trying to say? So? It's a great show. It's great. It's a great show. The vacuum, moo moo, la la. Oh, <laughs> bro, I was like this. If, like the intro song came out, I was like this, bro. And then the song, no, the no, baby, no. like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I love this show. You didn't watch Star Wars, bro. I was too busy watching Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles. Me too. Me too. No, me you too. didn't. No, you didn't. Me Go too. watch your Teletubbies, bro. I'm sorry. It was like my guilty pleasure to watch Teletubbies at maybe 11 years old. Who cares? Po. Remember, I also had younger your, siblings that would watch Lala. it, you so I would watch it. You're on some Lala vibes nah, today, Nah, I fuck bro. with Poe. Nah, you a Lala. I fuck with Poe. No, you a Twinkie Pinky. Hashtag, I fuck what with Poe. Was po. it Twinkie Winky? Tinky Winky. Yeah, you that one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. I'm on that Tinky Winky. <laughs>
Have you seen the fucking Equalizer? Like the actual series? The with Denzel Washington? Yes. You have? I think so. That's an older movie though, no? Yeah. yeah. But they just came out with Equalizer 3. It's right oh, now. No, I haven't seen that. Bro, have okay. Can I give you some homework? Yeah. Watch Equalizer 1. Okay. And then watch 2. I feel like I might have seen Equalizer 1. You might have. You might have. You've had to. It's a Denzel Washington movie. One of the greatest yeah. actors of all time. I agree. Top three greatest actors of all time. I couldn't agree more. No, I'm asking you what they are for you. Oh, top three greatest actors of all <laughs> <Yeah>. time? <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Denzel's up there. He's top three. Okay. He's in my top three. Okay. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. And uh, I would put uh, um, Al Pacino. Great answers. Yeah. What about you? Denzel. Okay. Jim Carrey. Oh, that's good. Robert De Niro. That's a good answer. And I honestly wish that I would have said Jim Carrey because I love Jim Carrey. I love Jim Carrey. Yeah. I also like Adam Sandler, so he'd probably oh! be my fourth. You all right there, buddy? You know who I would replace? Um, I would replace Leo with uh, Jim Carrey. Okay. You all right? I had a fight <laughs> and I lost it. Where's my Dr. Pepper? Where's my Dr. Pepper? Did I not bring it? Where's my Dr. Pepper? Hold on. I need my DP, my B. <laughs> Where did I, did I knock it down? I don't know. I heard something. Oh, I did. It's on your side. Can you grab it for me? You see it? What? The DP. But it's open. I know. I had opened it already. It's probably spilled everywhere. No, I didn't. Though. Oh, shit. This is no bueno. We haven't even taken any shots yet, bro. <laughs> bro, I broke it. It cracked? You're lying. No, you're lying. You're lying. Bro. Oh. Bro, how could you? Dang, I'm sad. Damn, this is technically my fault. I caused this chain reaction. You need like a lavada, fool. Like, bad energy right now. What? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> You're you still are the one who knocks. There's not nothing in here. <laughs> what? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> you just made me break that for no reason, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You owe me un carrito de burrito. I got you, G. Hey, just invoice me at Josh at LP. This Take was, it away, Josh. This, this was going to be a little bit more lighthearted. Okay. I feel like uh, last video, we were really getting into, like, you know, the weeds of, the like, needy love, greedy. You yeah. know, the nitty-gritty of love. This one right here, I saw this YouTuber named Cody Code do this, right? I started watching the video, and I immediately stopped it, and I was like, I need to do this with Sebas. Okay. I don't really know where this is going to go. I promise you, bro. I only saw, like, one second of it. I got the gist of what the video was going to be about, and then I was like, I want to do this. So shout-out to them for making the video. Yeah, major shout-out to Cody Code. He's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. If you guys don't know who he is, go check channel out he's incredible he's been doing it for a long time too love this for super us. funny uh yeah so the game is find the real pregnant woman oh wow right? so there is six women that are gonna appear here oh and you and me are gonna try to figure out if we can figure out who the real pregnant and, woman is and you don't know you don't know i promise you i don't know okay i pro um, like like scouts honor my we scouts honor okay <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, without further ado, let's, let's do, what it, do, do. What it do. All right, here we go. I'm pregnant. Five are posers. One is the real deal. So we got five posers, and we wow, got one that's the real deal. Like, edited really good. Yes, so there are, there are two other people playing the game, um, and they're also, like, asking them questions. So they're going to help us kind of figure out if we can figure it out. I feel like I'm on a game show. You're on a game show, my boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, wow, shout out, shout out to that guy for doing this. This yeah. is really cool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. In a room full of liars, can these teams find the real deal? I think we could find them. I think we can too. So like about how many weeks until you due date? Two weeks from tomorrow. <laughs> Say a week and a half. Three weeks. It's 15 weeks. Two weeks left. I have two weeks left. Two weeks left. Okay. So all of these girls are weeks away from popping a baby. Supposedly. The only one is a... Correct. Yeah. Do you have any suspicion of who you think well, based on answers? No, not yet. I just wanted to see the bellies, but I couldn't really get like, you know... A good... right, let's see if we can get a closer look at the bellies. Okay. What's your strangest pregnancy craving? It's not that strange, but I never really had a sweet tooth until I got pregnant. Peanut butter and Oreos. Just sounds good. <laughs> it sounds Can good. I tell you something? That's one of my favorite questions to ask pregnant women. What? Well, What's have you your had favorite any cravings? Craving? Yeah. No, have you had any weird cravings? Like out of the ordinary? Yeah, craving? I've heard some pretty uh, weird ones before, yeah. right? 
Well, uh, yeah, yeah. People would, like have like weird combinations that yeah. they want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I even once saw this uh, show where it was like uh, my strange addictions or something like okay. that. Okay, you remember the show? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember the show. Is that you being funny? Or you just like made fun of my joke and you don't care what I'm about to no, say. No, I care, I care, I care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep talking, dummy. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Entertain us. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I did. Um, some girl, some some chick. She was pregnant. She would eat chalk. She was like craving chalk. Well, she was while like, she was chalk. pregnant. Mm -hmm. While she was pregnant. Yeah, she would crave chalk. That's crazy. Yeah, there's people. I but guess. But that's not even like that. That's can that kill you? Isn't that chemicals? I don't know what chalk's made out of, to be honest with you. I just thought it was made out of chalk, but I don't know what chalk is. It has to be like chemicals, like chalk. Yeah, I don't know, bro. No. Chalk. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> corn starch. Corn like itself, just like Told you. Yes. I told Mine you. Stuff shit like that. Butter and bacon sandwiches. I Ooh, don't know why. That's I good. That sounds bomb. That I can't eat. So like, I want sushi, sashimi. I want like, just like a cold meat sandwich. She's not pregnant. I want everything spicy. <laughs> Anything hot. <laughs> no, that checks out. Walk us through. Like you know, let me tell you something. I think that girl that just said, I want the things I can't eat is pregnant because she like knows, she's like educated and like, oh, I can't eat sushi even though I love sushi. You like, really don't know who's going to be pregnant? I promise You've you. have never seen Sebas, it? I promise you all my life. I just have a really good like instinct okay. and I know a pregnant woman when I see a pregnant woman. All right? like your day-to-day -day workout routine if there is a workout routine well i don't go to the gym um i feel like there's things that you can do to keep active so you're not so stagnant and right now since i'm so far along it's just like how many times an hour can i get up right and you see the way she has her hand position on her top of her belly she's like acting you think but, so? but everybody else has their hand position like kind of either not or lower but so are top, you agreeing with her that she might be pregnant I, she's my second she's my second well, i up. feel like maybe she's like the type that like okay i'm gonna place my you know it'll, it'll like make them feel like i am pregnant because i've seen chicks who actually are pregnant who do that yeah, exactly it's like a thing but look at nobody else is doing that and walk to the other they're side. really good look, look, none of the girls walk, but um i do work out um i used to live heavy but now i have to <laughs> use lighter weights my workout is chasing my two other kids <laughs> and sitting down when I can. <laughs> That's a good answer. I like to do That's yoga. a really good answer. Look at, all, every, look at the hands. Keep it minimal. I used to do yoga before I was pregnant. It's a little hard. Oh, wow. Now, but oh, man. If we go back. Okay, stop, stop. That's perfect. Look at the hands. All look right. at the hands. Third girl to the right. That looks like she has an almohada. Yeah, that don't look real. Uh, Dang, uh, last but girl. But bellies don't come, like, they come in all shapes and sizes. No, yeah, I get it, I get it. I'm just saying, like, from what I'm seeing right now. Homegirl um, to the far right in the pink with mm -hmm. the with the beautiful dreads or, or curl, uh, what is it? The, uh, braids? Braids? She's not pregnant. Nah, that's not a She's pregnant. She's not pregnant. No. No. Yeah. Damn, this is kind of hard. I, I think, bro, these, you have, to remind, you have to mind you, bro, these girls are weeks away from popping. Like they've been carrying this belly for months on end, right? The girl to the far right, it looked like she not she haven't been through it. You know, she's like standing all like cool yeah, yeah. and shit. Right, right off the bat, because I see this visual. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say that the ones who I think are pregnant. There's are, only one. Yeah, I know, but the ones that I think right now, like that's what I'm putting my money at, is chick number one. Yeah. Number two, I don't think so. Nah. Number three, I'm not convinced with. The, the belly. belly shape. Even though I know that there's a lot of shapes. I know, I know. Shapes and but sizes, I, I'm my just boy. not convinced right now with shapes it right sizes. now. It looks like three, four, and six have almadas or something. And I think the one who's pregnant is one or or uh, five. Okay, you just took my answers. Is that what you think too? Yes, bro. Why can't we think the same thing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> if it was possible. So I try to walk about 20 minutes every day and then also just doing a lot of squats is really good. It's also good for your booty. Yes. <laughs> Hilarious. I just Hilarious. Is that Cody? <laughs> no, that's not Cody. This is like, that was not Cody. That's not yeah. good. Cody reviewed this video too. Yeah, but squats are good for your glutes. Also, wait, this is not Cody's video. No. Whose video is this? This is another channel who did this. Yeah. So why did we talk about that Cody guy? That's how I found out about this oh, video. Oh, got That's it. That's how I found it. He did this okay. with his pregnant wife. Got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and we're doing it now. Yeah, because I decided oh. it would be funny too, dudes who know nothing yeah. about pregnancy. Got it. <laughs> so I'm Cody and you're his pregnant wife. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So shout out to The Real Deal. Yeah. No, no. The, I think the channel's called Jubilee. 
Oh, Jubilee. Shout out to them because... Yeah. They've been doing this. You never heard of Jubilee? No. They do a bunch of uh, Invite like us videos over. Like I love your guys' editing. Yeah, they kill it, bro. Yeah, they're good. Right. It's after my two-year-old. I think we're ready to make an elimination. <gasps> elimination. Okay, Each let's do us, do us, do us, do us. Who are we eliminating right here? Honestly, uh, number six has got to go. You just got to press one. Uh, press one. You guys, you get you pick one right now? No, no. So they're playing the games of us. <laughs> we're just kind of doing our own. No, yeah, but I'm going to say, like, uh, they're going to just eliminate one right just now. Just one right now, yes. Okay, so I'll do six as well. Okay, six. So that's our guess. Yeah. Okay. The imposters. If both teams eliminate the same person, they will be removed from the game. Oh. She was talking about how her workout was <gasps> walking across the room and back. She was just playing up to it a little bit. How often do you guys pee? All the time. And as w the pregnancy Wait, gets pause it real quick. Oh, so, so who are these chicks now? I think it's, uh, from what I'm gathering here, is those two dudes versus these two girls. And they're going head to head. On okay. who, who can figure it out first? So they, they voted on the one that we think is pregnant. It, no, they voted on that she wasn't pregnant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so they they're, took they're, her out. No, no, no. So the other team has to guess that same girl, and if they both guess that same girl, then she's out. Oh, but if shoot. she doesn't, she's safe. Oh shoot! Or consistently throughout the day, it's really annoying. I think she's pregnant, bro. I would say I, I wake up like four or five times in the middle of the night. I feel like she they, looks pregnant oh, too. No, no. I feel like they didn't even Damn. try with their belly. They just put like they like the yo, just shove the some pillows one? on there. They put that that kiss pillow in there. The second one, you don't think? Yeah, no, no. About what four or five times during the night, I'm still breastfeeding too, so I'm waking up. I don't think she's pregnant. It's every hour for me. I actually have to pee really soon. I Fire. go probably every two hours during the day. And I then think I look, okay, look at her hands. These two girls are here. They, yeah. They're they're pregnant. Yeah. That's a pregnant. That's yeah. a pregnant hold. Yeah. No. I yeah. The fifth one is a pregnant hold. My bladder is always getting danced on. So yeah, <laughs> like I would use a restroom. In Dang, that's kind of true. When you have a baby, it probably dances on but your look bladder. At her belly. <laughs> I was kind of looking out. Yeah. No, I don't believe in that to, belly. Like, explain too much. Uh -huh. Do you have any baby names planned? And is it a boy or a girl? If you know already, yeah. I don't want to know. Okay. I want it to be a surprise. Love but, that. Um, if it's a girl, she'll be Deanna. A couple weeks uh, after I found out that I was pregnant, my grandmother named Deanna uh, passed away. Oh, man. So that's the only one. And I, I feel that she's a girl. That would be. I don't know. She's very in tuned. You know what she's I mean? She's very calm, too. Also, to like, if she is lying and she just like brings in her. Your psycho. That's a little weird, right? Bro, I'm telling you, they're really good actors. Damn, but like, I think all of them are I doing a great job. I couldn't live with myself to play a game and like lie about somebody close to me passing away. Who knows? Her grandma, right? Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah it's like kind of dark. That is. I, I honestly, I hope it's of, her for the sake of her soul. I'm like, I hope you're not lying, G. <laughs> Damn, she took it that far. She was lying. Yes, she took it that far. Okay, so, so there's no way that there's a human on planet Earth. That will lie about their mother's or their grandmother's death for a game show. On Jubilee. So she has to be telling the truth. Has to be. Has to be. Right? Yeah, I'm picking one. She gave it away. I don't know yet. I'm undecided because, yeah. Um, probably Trent Jr. So my two other kids, no. they have Z names. So... Um, the last one I want to be Zion. It's my first girl, so I want to name her Emery. Just the way she's talking no, right now. She's like, like and by the way, she's watching this. I'm not saying anything. I'm just, I just feel like you're really playing the part. She's playing the part. Yeah. 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 Also, the other girl to the left that just went and that just answered, I really think she does have two kids. For sure, they're probably mothers and yeah. they're probably like good at what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll not either. for this game show. Mm. I want my kids' names to be all colors. She's a girl. Mm -hmm. Um, and I wanted a name that like represented peace. So her name's gonna be Shiloh. So this time I chose. She's my second name. option. Uh, so if it's a girl, Alea, and if it's a boy, Robert Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. So I hope it's a girl. <laughs> well, you're not gonna have any of them because you're lying. I think she's lying. She's lying. Okay, One in five to me are. are okay, we're so ready to make eliminations. So girls. As a reminder: If both teams eliminate the same person, that person will be removed from the game. They went six. See, I'm on the girls' team. Number two. I'm scared to ask this because my mom told me never ask a question. They eliminated oh one. How big? No, bro. So they're, they're, that's their guess, right. right? But in order for a girl to be eliminated, both teams have to agree. Mm. Is your baby? Um. Last time I went to the doctor, they said. <sighs> Why did they skip? Eight oh. and a half pounds. 
And then same question in number six. Seven pounds. Who are these before? guys? I think the last time they Randos, said it was bro. four and a half pounds. Random What's guys. The craziest they, they look like old Navy models. See that might not be known. <laughs> and they're pissing me off. I don't know why. <laughs> old Navy models is hilarious. <laughs> don't they look like they be on I, that old Navy campaign? I, I don't. I don't think I've ever heard you nail something so perfectly. Right? <laughs> Some old Navy models. I don't even right care there. about the pregnant chicks yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, who are who these the fuck guys? Are y'all? Are y'all pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> if number three could answer that question, and then number five. You have a lot of hip issues, a lot of hip problems. Um, bladder issues, mm -hmm. of course, and then you have hormonal issues. <laughs> and then um, the last thing I would say is probably just the physical wear and tear that you Oh, I can't, bro, I honestly. A lot of people talk about like- Women are amazing. Like, oh, you're cool. Yeah, because like they, obviously like not all of them are pregnant, but I think they understand what pregnancy is. Oh and God. just hearing it is just like kind of crazy. I bro, mean, honestly, that girl just said, I have somebody dancing on my bladder. Like, yeah. I can't even imagine how that, like, obviously I know she's saying it, like, she's a, Being exaggerating a yeah. subject, yeah. but it's kind of true. It's like, God damn, bro. It's a, it, honestly, women are magical. Bro. In order to have a baby, sorry to interrupt. In order to have a baby, how yeah. magical is that? It's almost one of those things I can't really wrap my head around. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, it's just, that's one of those like weird mysteries of life to me. Like a human growing inside another human. And that's no, insane and females have the power to do that yeah fuck that's okay. amazing it's amazing and you have people a podcast about like the difficult that's things that's all <laughs> like you don't have your body can we hear from number three what kind of uh, vitamins have you had to take so i take um i can't think of this on my head uh, ollie the brand ollie it's a prenatal vitamin mm -hmm. it's a, like a gummy that's like the highlight of my day because i love gummies number four if you could answer the same question i love gummies too i mean too very like, <laughs> vitamin deficient so i just take like what i normally take but i just started taking i don't know this girl's not pregnant i'm just gonna call off no. the bat uh, and I, i'm sorry bro all i can think about is like i really hope number one's pregnant because if not she <laughs> will go to the gates of hell with you with you i'm turning back <laughs> she no, will go I'm to the like, gates yo, of we hell gotta keep it we gotta keep it pushing because <laughs> that no i'm still <sighs> going with number one because i'm giving her the benefit of the doubt because i don't think she's lying and i hope she doesn't but other than that still number five I don't know what it's called exactly but they're like mushroom pills i have a hey chill out i shroom it up it could affect my baby so I have to like be on top of my game right. all the time. And then number two, same question. I just take prenatal vitamins and I try to eat healthy. We ready? I think we're ready. Yeah. I think they're ready. Obviously. <laughs> ready? Two. Body language was a big aspect for number two. Yeah. I, oh, I agree. I agree. Two's got to go. Yeah. To her side, yeah. Same. Just a Two's got to go. Two's got to go. Like rigid, just not like very like conscious of like. But they all um, stay. Number four will you tell me what's the relationship with the baby's father yeah um it's my long-term well now fiance and were you guys trying to have a baby no it was a surprise yeah. honestly and i was on birth control scary yeah. <laughs> um number one what was your reaction when you found out i was terrified um uh the baby's father and i are really good friends so oh. we're not even in a relationship but he's been super super supportive and i'm telling you man if this chick li is lying whole i'll be okay. so mad she's at her. putting everybody's life on the line I'll, uh, yeah i'll be so mad <laughs> she's at her all if kinds she of lied. Stories. like my whole my whole plot twist is that she lied i don't if whoever's pregnant that's fine but my whole thing now i'm concerned are you lying and you're just like and cool you with put it? your grandmother's death on this game show I don't know, man. Then I don't know. For number five, did you have a baby shower? And if not, are you going to? We had our baby shower. Yeah. Already. Okay. What was the best gift you got? Well, we um, had our dresser, like the baby changing dresser, on mm -hmm. there, which was like a really pricey gift. So I feel really thankful. My stepbrother got that for us. Um, number mm. one, what is? I wonder how much they paid. Diapertini is this like contraption that makes it faster to change baby. Bro, you got one of those at your pit. The, the the diaper. <laughs> Can I, uh, number two answer that question as well? Pretty much, you put your dirty diapers in the trash can. You got one of those, don't you? Yeah. Wait, yeah. The other girl just, she said it's a faster way to like do your diapers. It's a, it's a disposal thing. Oh, like, she said that. Yeah, I didn't miss that. Yeah. yeah, she's lying. Yeah, it's to throw away so it doesn't. Which smell. one said that? The one that we thought was pregnant. One. Oh my God! What's wrong with her? 
Yeah, it doesn't really smell up the room. Yeah, that's okay. correct. Are ready to eliminate someone? Okay. I think we're ready to eliminate. I think they're ready. How can number one two, okay. lie on her grandmother? Oh, two's gone because they number both eliminated. Two. Unfortunately, our teams do not believe that you are the real deal, so we will have you removed from the lineup. Thank you so much. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so are you or not? Of the women have oh, until the end. Until the end. Like under their bellies, and she was talking. Like, oh wait, this is only yeah, first yeah, elimination. Like what threw her off? I think we have a question for number four. Uh, what kind of tests did you have to take at like the doctor's office before, you know, during your pregnancy so far? I've just had like checkups on. <laughs> Do you know what this is first series? elimination. I've just had <laughs> <laughs> This is a whole series. <laughs> oh my god, Josh. <laughs> what you think we're gonna be here for three hours? I told you I didn't watch the video. <laughs> Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see if we can like Joshua. Oh, they do decide it. They do they do say, they do say, they do say, they do say, they do say. Had like that. Just chill out, G. Every like stressing me out. Um but no, not anything that I needed as of now. Same question in number six. I forgot what it's called, but you drink a nasty sugary drink and yeah, you have to, you can't eat before, you can't eat like an hour after. So like you're starving and then like you're drinking like straight up sugar. And then for number five, same question. So I had the same one. That's to check if we have gestational diabetes. See? That's a good answer. I want yeah, her to be the winner, but I can't believe her because number one lied like that. How dare she? Bro, that's, number, that's why I think it's number one, because why would anybody lie about that? Number five, I would love to see your like best strut. <laughs> best what? Strut. Oh, the walk. Oh, that's a pregnant walk. That's a pregnant walk. Yeah. That's a pregnant walk. Yeah, because a lot of the way is going in the back. Right? Yeah. She's really using her lower back. She has to. I can't even imagine how that feels. Yeah, I don't feel good. She's got it down. It's kind of a little and like a gangster walk with it, too. Possibly, like, make it your oh, let me see. <laughs> All right, home. This is my homegirl right here. This is the one that has to be pregnant because she lied on her grandmother's death. Uh, you know what, bro? I, I'm just trying to second guess this girl. Her eyes are a little like, they're like, bro, she like. If she lied about her grandmother's death, that's the podcast. You know, how dare she if she's lying? Yeah, I think we're also ready. Yeah. Final guesses. We think the real deal is number five. Oh, I told you that's the one I want. That's the one I want. But the fact that the number one said that something about her grandmother's death, I forgot. What did she say? She basically said my grandmother died. So I'm naming her, naming her after my grandmother. Yeah. It started away. with the D, right? Yeah. In order for a human to say something like that, that exact, like, come on. That's why I want number one to win because I don't want her going to hell with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. But I think it's really five. What she was talking about, and everything just kind of like aligned with like our perception of a pregnant woman. We think the real deal is number five. Oh, I told you. Um, that's well, strut. First of all, that's strut. Rewind the tape because from the gate, I said it was number five. Yeah. From yeah, the yeah. gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it. From the hell's a gate. I was it. like, number five. And, and she looks, she looks like, I mean, she does. Yo, but number one. Hold on, I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I am gonna be upset if she was lying. I'm gonna be. I'm How dare she talk about her grandma? I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna Me be sad. too. I think the walk sold it for us for yeah. sure. In the event of a tie, that's a pregnant the laugh. Team that locked in the real deal first wins. It is now time to reveal your answers. You have both oh chosen God. pregnant woman number five. Here we go. If the lights on the lineup turn green. That means that you have chosen the real deal. If the lights turn red, <laughs> you're so locked in. <laughs> an imposter, and you both lose. Here we go. Your answer will be revealed to you in three, two. What do you think? Why did you do that? <laughs> you son of a. Why did you do that? Final answer? Is this your final answer? Is she the one? Is she it, or is it one? I want her to be it. Oh, what's your answer? Oh, her. You think it's her? Yes, I think it's her. All right, I'm gonna go with one just for the sake fine. of for the sake of this. I right. want one to do because I don't right. want her going to hell. No, no, of but you life. said five. Yeah, I see five. But mind you, I think it's five too. All right? Okay, all right. One. <laughs> <laughs> we we kind of we guessed it, right? We guessed it. That lying girl. You're welcome. Bro, she lied. She lied. My grandma died. She my couldn't say died. something else. My, 
<laughs> I know. Like, did they give her an interview? You don't have after? to do that. Like, you don't have to put somebody. Yo, life. I bet you the comment section down below is going going after her. Gra bro. Grandma's probably like, "What did I do to you?" Yeah. <sighs> is that what you want? You want me dead? That's crazy, bro. That's wild. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> You asked that baby genie. I don't even know what that is. Really? So I'm glad that you didn't oh ask that question. <laughs> my mom just told me to ask that. <laughs> because Team Boys was able to lock in the real deal first, they will actually win the prize today. Okay, what old Navy the, models. <laughs> but what does that have to do with anything? Why is it the well, girls? Because, because they both had the same answer, so they're saying like whoever said it first. So they have to figure out a tiebreaker. Well, who did they ask first? No, they both. They both have like a little tablet in front uh -huh. of them, and it like tells them like experience was really cool that yeah but they it. but both both genders had the same skill yeah i agree i agree i agree so how is that on, how is that fair for the for the chick so i don't think we get to see it i'm for what's her name and maddox by the way I, this is all like i'm just guessing here i think they had the little tablet and as they were playing the game they were like they finally like they were like i think it's her so they locked in that answer as long as they told them in the beginning whoever's the first one to lock in the answer you I'm get sure the they prize. Did. i wonder sure what they. the prize was probably like a million dollars I highly doubt that. <laughs> Dude, that lying girl. I cannot, that that broke my heart. I was not expecting that. The only way that this will like make me happy about it is that if she actually gets pregnant in the future and she actually names, names her daughter that. And I hope that the grandma's <sighs> not dead yet. Also, once she started saying she didn't know what that whole machine thing was, I was like, girl, everybody yeah, knows what that is. I didn't catch that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, thank you. That yeah, was, that was I, I was huh? a heart attack. Yeah, <laughs> you were so locked in. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, bro. Was that fun? We're running back. Fun, we'll do man. another one of these again. I can't wait for the for the next one. I hope this uh I hope this comes across like as fun like on the podcast and how's it was for us. I think it how's was. it was for us. I mean, even myself just watching that little um video, it was pretty entertaining. So I'm yeah. assuming people back at home, you guys thought it was somewhat yeah. entertaining as well. And, and just to clarify, Cody Ko was the one I saw reacting to this video with his pregnant wife playing the game we just played. And that's when I stopped it immediately. I was like, yo, I want to play this with Seba. Cool. This is really funny. I yeah. loved it. And that channel is called Jubilee. And they do a bunch of stuff like this. Like their whole channel consists of them doing like getting random people and having them, I don't know, guess a bunch of stuff or fall in love or make love or. Or <laughs> you know. make love or. That's what you said. Or. Yeah, uh, well, man. Jubilee, um, Josh Leva and myself would like to attend one of these games and be your old love. Navy models. Yeah. Well, we'll be like your fucking... 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 Uh, we'll be your fucking swap meet models, fool. Or, or, or... Or we'll be your fucking Cerritos Mall models, fool. <laughs> or, or... Or we'll be your fucking... Um, uh, Vallarta models, fool. Or... <laughs> or <laughs> shut up. <laughs> that... Was the episode? Oh, sorry. Be before you go into this, because I know a lot of people are kind of, and I just want you to clarify this. You posted a TikTok, m making it like all sentimental, kind of insinuating that we were going to stop the podcast, or and people were blowing me up, oh. being like, "Yo, what's going on? Please tell me this isn't true." My brother was hitting us up. Like, did you all get into a fight? You want to clarify what that TikTok was about? Yeah. And by the way, follow us on TikTok. Yeah. So uh, yeah, follow us on TikTok. You'll see the video. It's just a picture of the couch. She looks very retro, right? Um, real quick. Um, and everybody knows I put a sound on. Everybody has heard that sound. It's very nostalgic. It's actually to me kind of scares me that sound. Um, but I just did the TikTok because um, I have a camera that takes really cool pictures. And then I walked in right here before we were gonna set up. You weren't here yet. And I was like, oh, I want to take a picture. I just I, I said to myself. I want to take a picture of the podcast room because one day we're not going to be here and I just want this memory. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not saying anything else. Yeah. And then I took it and then I was like, oh my God. I was like, one day we're not going to be here. And I have this picture of La Platica room and I have this picture. I'm like, this is, this was, it's, it's, I'm going to tell myself later in the future when I see this picture. Wow, this is going to be such a nice, like, it was a nice time in our life. It yeah. was such a fun time. Who knows? But it was, maybe this is going to be, like, the best time of our lives, right? Could be. Who knows? Who knows? Um, <laughs> or, so, I posted the picture with that sound, and I just, I literally said that. I said, one day I'm going to look at this picture, something like that, and this round, you know, I, I said, something we're going to look at this picture, or we're going to, what did I say? We're going to... Uh, uh, remember how cool it was something, or something like that, like that. yeah, yeah. So. and a lot of people thought that like la platica was done or yeah. Yeah. blah blah or that we're moving uh blah blah so that was i don't know maybe we're moving maybe we're not i don't know we'll see <laughs> um but yeah that was the video no we're not going anywhere we don't want to go anywhere far we're, from we're here to stay yeah we're far from it um yeah 
So we're not going anywhere anywhere for the next five years. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> or, 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 or. I'll tell you that much. That was like the most authentic. I'll tell you that much you've ever said. <laughs> I hit that one. You hit that one, you nerd. (laughs) You're like, I'm going for the first five years. I'll tell you that much. You were so... Yo, you know what's like a phrase I say that I'll tell you that much. You know what's a phrase I say that I get kind of clowned on? Uh, I'll ask people, like, they'll say something. I'm like, how do you figure? Like, I always say, how do you figure? And people be like, why do you say that? Like, how do you figure? (laughs) We ain't going nowhere in the next five years. I'll tell you that much. (laughs) I'll tell you that much. Damn, bro, I felt that. I was like, damn, I guess we're not. Hey, man. Hey, sometimes you got to throw in that country accent. Let let these people know that, you know. (laughs) That was hilarious. we, We get it down. Hashtag down. Mondays don't suck. Nah, no more. Welcome to La Platica. How do you figure? If you, <laughs> or, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, we're here to stay. Forever. Uh, Spotify, Apple Podcast. You already know the drill. Uh, thank you for watching. We appreciate that. Uh, nos vemos en la próxima plática. Yes, sir. Estás escuchando La Platica. Peace. Later. And love. Hey, and more love. <laughs>